everybody welcome back to my channel we have changed locations and we have a change of a shirt because we're going to be reviewing a dog's purpose but it's the same day that i filmed the sun is also a star <laughs> so if you guys are new my name is stephanie thank you everybody for clicking on this video and checking out my review i hope you guys enjoy it please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet little uh, behind the scenes note I have it clipped on here with little hair clip hair clips because it won't stay up and I don't have anything to how many lives it took I would be there for CJ oh, hello where did you come from it's like he chose you all right let's go ahead and get on with the review Dog's Journey is rated PG. It's drama fantasy. It's an hour and 48 minutes long. It is directed by Gail Mancuso. Mancuso. Uh, it's, set out, it's set to come out this Friday, May the 17th. It stars uh, Josh Gad as Bailey, uh, Catherine Prescott, Henry Lau? Lou? L-A-U? For those of you who are new, I am the, I'm the worst at name pronunciation. Uh, Betty Gilbin, Dennis Quaid, and Marge Helgenberger. Burger. <laughs> so A Dog's Journey is actually the sequel to A Dog's Purpose, which sadly I have not seen yet. I know it's on my to-watch list, I promise. Not lost at all with this um, movie, so you don't necessarily have to watch part one to get this part because I was, I was fine, honestly. So A Dog's um, Journey does start off uh, with Bailey uh, leaving on the farm with Ethan and I'm assuming that's how a dog's uh, purpose kind of ended up. This is kind of semi-spoilers here. I'll put a spoiler alert but I mean we all know the dog dies. So Gloria which is CJ's mom uh, leaving Glor ends up leaving uh, Ethan in Hannah's farmhouse to go move to Chicago because she was to be a singer. If she was married or she was just a girlfriend to Ethan and Hannah's son who who died. I don't know if he died in part one, but he's dead in this part. So I don't know if that would be a spoiler or not. She ends up taking her and, and moves out. Um, and of course the grandparents are like devastated because they, they love their grandbaby. When Bailey was, was dying, so Ethan knew that he would come back to him, which I'm assuming that's what he did in part one and they're euthanizing him to please come back and watch over CJ and protect her. So that was now his new purpose or his new journey now. In this case, the journey is to actually be able to find CJ and then be able to protect her. They probably should have just called it a dog's purpose too, but they just changed it to a journey now. But basically it was the same thing, it's a purpose that he has. So it does start off where uh, CJ is like kind of like a little preteen. Um, her and her best friend, best friend um, parents is uh, buying him a a puppy, and so happens that uh, the litter, which were the last two puppies that were left in the litter, is where Bailey was at. CJ ended up adopting the B Bailey, which in this case her name was Molly, uh, was a girl now. <laughs> was able to keep her um, up until she was in high school. Um, the mom Gloria does not like dogs, which is the mama. But so she's pretty much like, Gloria is a horrible mother. She's a drunk. Uh, she didn't take the death, obviously, of her baby daddy good. And mom didn't even know that she even had a dog. DJ, when she took the dog, was all like, okay, I'll have my mom call. And, you know, don't worry, we'll be situated. But she kind of pretended to be the mom and everything and was able to keep the dog. I found out a couple days later that she had the dog. And, of course... Uh, CJ's all like, well, I'm gonna keep her. She's my best friend. You're never around. I need somebody to protect me. Plus, if you don't let me keep her, basically was blackmailing her and was like, I'm pretty sure my teacher's gonna be fond of knowing that you leave me here all night long while you're out there doing I don't know what kind of deal. Accident that happens and um, Molly is no more. I kid you not, you guys. Every single time Bailey died, I cried. Every time. And I mean like bawling my eyes out i cried for bailey i didn't know bailey from part one i did not even have that emotional attachment to bailey from the first part to have cried as much as i cried when he died the first time as bailey before he came back as these other dogs i could just have imagined how i would have been if i had that emotional attachment to him but i didn't but i still cried like oh my god 
<laughs> Bailey doll. In the spine of this movie, he is Bailey, Molly, Big Dog, and Max. He's four dogs. Wait, would that be a spoiler alert? I don't know. Does it matter how many dogs he gets reincarnated to? I don't think it does. After Molly, it did take him a minute to finally be able to uh, get back to CJ, which would be when he became Max. Okay, and so my battery ran out. Again, that was the last straw, and I finally ordered a new battery. If you guys have been with me, especially since the Halloween series, you know how much I have struggled with my battery running out, and I've been saying I'm gonna get a new one, but ah, uh, it's happened, and I've ordered it. So today, I'm just finished recording this at work, and I leave off. Um, so in, um, I don't think anybody can get more time with Jay and Max, um, which is a really cute little doggy. Oh my God, he finally decided I need to find CJ and it's gonna try to make a point to not get adopted by another dog per the incident that happened when he was big dog. Um, and he pretty much only got to see CJ kind of passing through. Oh my God, I should not be in a rolly chair, sorry. Because of Gloria, um, CJ ended up having a distant relationship with the grandparents. Well, you know, eventually CJ is able to get reunited back to the grandparents. And of course, um, Ethan knows that Max is Bailey and tries to explain to CJ um, that I don't know how it happens, but he gets reincarnated and comes back. But I know that, that, that that's Bailey. He's on permanent loan to you. And before he died, I told him to watch out and look after you. And uh, I think he's been doing that. Um, it took CJ a minute to kind of like process this, of course, because who's gonna believe that? It's a great, great family movie. Um, I mean, it's a great family movie if you're not one of those parents that doesn't like hurt their kids to know about death. Um, so I guess if you haven't seen A Dog's Purpose because of the whole death situation, then this may not be the movie for your family um, to offend anybody with that. I just know that there are families that, you know, think that way. So I just kind of want to like pre-warn you on that situation. So if you're not prepared to like explain that to your kids, they maybe hold off until they're a little bit older. But once they do come of age, definitely recommend it. So this one a and The Sun is also start to come out on the same day. And if it's between the both of them, Honestly, I would say see this movie. Oh, that one is really good too, don't get me wrong, but it is a teen romance, so it might not be for everybody. Make sure you take your tissue, take a box of tissue. Don't wear makeup if you're a crier like me. And I know Job and Wait comes out this weekend. I haven't seen it. That's actually when I'm gonna go see for my birthday. The review is gonna come out till uh, probably next month, because remember, I'm still working on my special project. You got your teen romance, you got your family friendly, you got your action packed movies. I have two. I'm gonna post a photo of both of them from Mother's Day. These are my children. The girl is Coco, which is my big fat baby. And the black one is my baby boy. His name is Titan. And I've had them for seven years. You know, down down in the comments, the name of your babies. How many do you have? How long have you had them for? Well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you at concessions. I have walls on both sides so I can't roll out of frame. So, bye.